Ever since Nick arrived, you have four years here, trip to the Super Bowl his rookie year, three times in the NFC Championship game in four years. The number one defense in pro football, third player in the history of the franchise to win the Defensive Player of the Year award. But I want to, and he's involved in this as well. I want to talk about the offseason. Number one defense in pro football last year, John. But he comes to you and says, I want a difference maker. Uh, it's kind of like getting Dion a little bit in 94. I, I didn't come to him. Like, these two <laughs> they, wanted, they can, wanted, well, to, the spend, How they wanted to spend money. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say, that's great. But, you know, you're looking at free agency, and you're always going to spend top dollar. And it's like, well, do you want, like, the third best player for, like, 80% of the price? And again, if we're going to do it, like, just, just do it. And, you know, we're fortunate that we have good young quarterbacks on a roster that, that helps you be more flexible with your salary cap for the next few years. It's like, look, if you're going to do it, like, spend next year's money to get the guy that's going to be here for the next three years and make a difference. Like, we're, we're close, but if you're going to do it, go do it. And, and it was clear who they wanted to get. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of conversations and, um, about how we make a, a really good team better. That's a hard thing to do. You've got guys who, whose contracts are up. We let $80 million walk out the door this year. 16 free agents, guys like McGlinchey and Jimmy Garoppolo and uh, help me out, Danny Brunskill and Jimmy Ward's McGlinchey. of the world. And, and, and you know, you, you keep going. But that's part of it, and that's why you constantly have to be developing talent. But what, what Kyle and I really... Uh, talked about and we talked to our staffs long and hard you kind of do the review of the previous year and you look at it every way Kyle does something that's tremendous our offensive coaches watch our defense our defensive coaches watch our offense they come back they report our personnel's doing the same thing and you try to get a grasp on where can we be better and the thing we kept coming back to is on the defensive line albeit the number one defense in football played a really good defensive football it was outstanding but we felt like we had lost a little bit of our dominance on, on uh, the D-line. You know, when, we, when you think back to the uh, 2019, and it was, it was you know, you, when you were playing the Niners, you knew you were not going to have a lot of time to throw the ball on the run game. You were going to have people penetrating. And we felt like, despite playing such good defense, we had maybe fallen off a little. And we'd always, you know, when we first got together, one of the core principles we really agreed on we're going to start up front on defense. Those guys are going to drive the bus. And uh, that's what we had built. And we felt like that had slipped a little. Some of that being injuries like to Armstead. But we knew we had to go get a difference maker. And so when I got with Jed, you know, one Saturday at my house, Jed came over. Kyle and I had discussed, okay, you know, I felt like I was asking a girl on a date. Okay, here, here's, here's how I'm going to start the meeting, Kyle. No, don't do it that way. Do it this way. <laughs> um, and I was at basically going to Father Confession asking for money. And I said, Jed, like, it'd be a shame with this team to, to sit on the sidelines. And Jed stopped me. He said, make sure it's a difference maker. And I said, okay, well, we're on the same page because we got one for you. <laughs> and that was Javon Hargrave. And uh... he's pretty good. You put him next to Eric Armstead, Kyle, and, and Nick Bosa on the other side. Wow.